Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with the Dental Practice Insight from Levin Group. This is something you probably have never thought about before. What contributes to paying for your overhead and what contributes to profit? When I talk to dentists about bad paying insurance plans, and there are more and more of them out there, they're angry and they want to leave, and maybe they should, I don't know. But when things are challenging, like in the COVID era, and we're still figuring it out, I always encourage people to take a breath, don't do anything rash, and let's take a little bit of time and analyze and think through it. Okay, that may sound like common sense, and it probably is. What's not common sense is understanding that a bad paying insurance plan, at least temporarily, might be very valuable. How could that possibly be? Because a bad paying plan that covers overhead contributes to paying for the overhead. And if you get rid of that plan and you lose a lot of those patients, now you don't have any revenue from those patients contributing to the overhead. So you need to build a model where you look at your worst paying plans, Medicaid, if very, you know, most practices don't participate, bad PPOs, middle level PPOs, okay PPOs, indemnity and fee for service. And you wanna build a model that says, okay, I'm gonna be 50% fee for service. This is not a real model for you. I'm giving you an example. I'm gonna be 50% fee for service. I'm gonna be 20% uh, good indemnity. I'm gonna be 30% uh, bad PPO or medium PPO or good PPO. And that's how I'm gonna build. Then in the PPO level, we could break that down with some data also. And then we look at the model and say, okay, this is gonna provide the profit and income that I've targeted and that bad PPO, I'm gonna keep it and not think about when I'm treating those patients that I'm not happy because that bad PPO is part of the model contributing to paying for overhead. If I wanna get rid of it, I'll do that in a different way down the line. As always, I wish you dental practice success and increased practice production.